In this example, we are going to integrate one over theta squared times the cosine of one over theta. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So we're gonna make a u substitution, and to do that, we're going to let u be the inside piece. So if you don't see the solution right away, it's okay. You can just try something and hope it works. So we're gonna let u be equal to the inside piece, so the part inside the trig function. So we'll set u equal to one divided by theta. Okay, now we have to differentiate this. And so in order to do that, it might be better to take this theta and bring it upstairs so that it's written as theta to a power. So this is really one over theta to the first power. So when you bring it upstairs, it'll be u equals theta to the negative one. The exponent becomes negative when you bring it up. Now we're ready to integrate. So we'll take the derivative of both sides using what's called differential notation. So the derivative of u is just one, so this is just du. Here we'll use the power rule, we'll bring down the negative one, negative theta, and then subtract one from the exponent. So negative one minus one is negative two, and then we still have the d theta. Very nice. And the goal is to make this look like what's in our integral. So let's go ahead and try to do that. We can start maybe by uh, bringing this back downstairs. So this is du equals negative one over theta squared d theta. And oh, we have a negative here. We don't have a negative in the integral. So if we multiply both sides by negative one, we'll basically get negative du equals one over theta squared d theta. Perfect. So now we have exactly what we want, right? Let me just show you here, let me highlight it. So one over theta squared d theta, that's this right here, so the blue boxes match. So now we can make our substitution. I'll write it over here. So the one over theta squared d theta is gonna be negative du. So I'll pull the negative out like that. And then we have cosine of u right, because u is this piece here, right, this is u, and then here we have du. So again, um, the stuff you see here in the blue boxes is this, see it? So it's one third, uh, one, th one over theta squared d theta, and that's equal to negative du, which I've put out here, or here, you see it here, and then it's just cosine of u. Perfect, now we're ready to integrate. So if you have this memorized, the integral of cosine, that's good. If you don't, just try to think backwards. What's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, sine. So this is negative sine of u plus our constant of integration, capital C. Really, really nice. And we're not done, right? We have to go back to the original variable, which in this case is actually theta. We said u is one over theta. So this is negative sine of one over theta plus our constant of integration, capital C, and that would be the answer. 